Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm G&G and in this episode of Job with Greatness it is Derby Day. We are away to Peterborough for the Cambridgeshire Derby, our first derby in this save uh, with any team. We didn't actually have one with Oxford City, we didn't have one yet with Cambridge until today. Could be a massive game for us. And then we'll take on Wigan at home, one of the teams tipped to be pushing for promotion, one of the biggest clubs in this division and uh, hopefully we can put in a good performance there as we've had a good start to the season. Since the last episode when we opened up with an opening day 3-0 win against Wrexham. We played the first round of the Carabao Cup at home to West Brom and came away with a win. Uh, they rotated their team, so did we though to be fair, and a 3-1 win. Goals for Pazachi, whose name I still haven't mastered, um, Jordan Langford and Riley Reynolds. 3-1 win into the second round for the first time in charge of Cambridge. And then we went away to Portsmouth in the league. A 0-0 draw, pretty even game. Uh, we were probably the better team but just couldn't score even enough. They went down to 10 men just under an hour, half an hour to go but we couldn't get a winner. So a nil-nil draw, not too bad. Two clean sheets in a row in the league and we made it three in a row in our next game when we won 4 nil at home to Blackpool. Goals for Adu, two for McConnell and one for Weatherstone off the bench. So a 4 nil win, three games played in the league and we hadn't conceded a goal. Really good start to the season. But then we did concede our first goal in the next game against Barnsley. We went behind after 13 minutes. Simon Thompson got his first of the season to make it 1-1 and it stayed 1-1. And that's how we go into today's game on eight points in the league. Just outside the playoff spots, one point behind Wigan and two points behind Peterborough, our opponents, in today's game. So, yeah, it's been a decent start to the season. We're unbeaten, actually. Uh, two wins, two draws, one goal conceded. Yeah, really good start to our season. And then we played the second round of the Carabao Cup, our home to Championship side Watford. Rotated again, a 3-0 defeat, completely outclassed, really. They got two late goals, but by far the better team. Big worry from this game was an injury to Maxi Oyedele. He is out for a couple of months with a broken foot. That's a bit of a blow in terms of midfield depth. But yeah, we're out of the Carabao Cup. Not too worried about that. Nice to get through the second round. But uh, yeah, less games to play now. And we focus on the derby. And this is the lineup we're going with. It's uh, the strongest 11 really that we've been going with since the start of the season. Uh, Davison and Mackley have settled in at the back. Britton has settled into midfield really well. And our front three have been doing well. Maybe not scoring as much as I'd like. But uh, yeah, they've been working well together. And uh, hopefully continue that today. And this is huge. A derby win day would really get the fans uh, looking forward to the rest of the season. So here we are, taking on Peterborough away. They are one of the teams tipped for promotion. They were relegated from the Championship last season. We were promoted from uh, League 2. So we're meeting for the first time here now in League 1. In charge of Cambridge United. Our first derby, as I said, off this save with any team. It would really be nice to get a win in it. main thing would be not to be uh, hammered anyway because the, the fans just want us to be competitive against Peterborough. I'd love a win against them. Uh, one over our rivals would be great. First highlight here is a throw in. 30 seconds into the game. Larkache down to Britchen and back to Armstrong. We try and create something early on. Britchen on the ball. The Dutchman has settled in really well into that midfield. Here's Davison. A new right back and club record signing. Hasn't been... Uh, pushed to do much work defensively so far in the game so here he is now going on the attack Davison can he get across no oh it's poor really poor he gives the ball back to Peter we try and push we do Russell Denny oh straight at the keeper oh huge chance to go ahead early in this game corner kick here Lark at you to take it and what can he do he's got to whip it into the near post is there anyone there no Peterborough win the header Mackley heads it back a do oh what a goal that would have been on the volley but it goes over kick here for Peterborough and they try and play out of their box we'll try and press them and we've started this uh, derby really well now can we keep it up? Uh, Davison wins it back. That's brilliant. Russell Denny now on the attack. He's got the three strikers in the box. He wants to get across. He go back to Davison, who's in a bit of space. Picks out Britchen. Over to Larkeche. Larkeche goes back to Armstrong. Armstrong looking for options. Here's Heaps. Mackley. Uh, Mackley into Davison. Davison brings it forward. Can he get across now into the box? Davison, he cuts it to Russell Denny. Russell Denny into a do. Into Britchen. Yes, his first goal is in the derby. What a way to introduce himself to the fans. And we go ahead just four minutes into it. And what a finish that was. Didn't look the best across it because it missed a do. But it fell to Britchard. We'll see here. Davison down this side. And he gets the cross into Russell Denny. Russell Denny then crosses it towards a do. A do doesn't read it. But it comes to Britchard. First time shot. Fires at home. Keeper no chance. And we are 1-0 up. Davison on a throw and down to Russell Denny. Back to Davison to Heaps. Quickly on to Russell Denny. He's in space. Can he get a finish here? Russell Denny. Oh, the keeper makes a brilliant save. Could have been 2-0 up inside of 10 minutes. What a start that would have been. We could still score from this corner, of course. And it will be Britchin to take it. The goal scorer. But a whip it in. Anyone there can win at the near post. Is headed up in the air. Armstrong. Back to Britchin. Did he stay onside? Back to Russell Denny. Russell Denny in possession. Britchin. 
comes back in towards the midfield Davison we try and work an attack it'll stay 1-0 but Peterborough up the other end and we clear it out of our box here's Adu quickly on to Britton he has two strikers ahead of him can he play the pass he's waiting for the option he picks out McConnell and it's a little bit of a slow pass so McConnell has to track back here's Larkettre can he get across into the box he gets to the byline cross towards Adu at the far post he heads it Thompson yeah it's for 2 up it's offside it's offside oh flag went up Thompson who more or less lives offside he's like in Zaggy with how much he's offside uh, he has so many disallowed goals for us but he scores so many too and he was well offside here he went a little bit early from that header and it'll stay 1-0 corner kick here for Peterborough and they go to the edge of the box it's a smart uh, corner the shot comes in oh Flynn for Peterborough Oh, just a sleep from the corner. We've been on top of this game and we've gifted them away back. But it was clever uh, corner kick. We didn't push anyone out to the edge of the box. Flynn had space. He takes down. He takes the shot. Yes, Glynon couldn't really see it through a sea of bodies. And with 24 minutes gone, it's 1-1. We're in possession now. Have that boost of getting level. They've been uh, under pressure the whole game from us. But they are now back level. And they will try and take control of di- dial out for them into Reed. Flynn, the goal scorer, is true again. Flynn. Oh, he's... Stop him squaring up, but it comes to the edge of the box, and yes, Kalinen has to make a good save. And all of a sudden, Peterborough have woke up, and they are the team on top now, and we're under a bit of pressure. Here comes the corner kick from Flynn, and it comes into the box this time. It's headed towards goal. Yes, Kalinen saves it. It'll stay 1 1. Peterborough again on the attack. They've been on top since they've got level. In comes the cross. Macley cuts it out, and yes, Kalinen was going to claim that. That was probably a poor decision from the centre back because he's given the ball back to Peterborough. Here's Reed on the edge of the box. They've worked it. It's in. Oh, it's a mistake from Callum Mackley. The ball was just going to go into Yeskelainen's hands. And he, for some reason, cut it out. You'll see it. I oh, know we won't see it here in the replay, but he gave the ball back when there was no need to Peterborough. And then they pass it around the box to create the chance. The shot comes in. It deflects off Larkettre. Yeskelainen gets hands to it. Can't keep it out. Before the half hour mark, we're 2 1 down. Keeper in possession. He's going to go long here. No, he's going to pass it around. We try and press up, but they're going to pass around our press. And now we're a little bit open, but Heaps wins it back. Now Thompson into a do. Can he level things up? A do. Oh, keeper makes a really good save there with his foot. A do has had a couple of chances in this half, not taking them. And we have a corner kick now. Britton to take it. Can he pick out anyone at this near post? Macley there, oh, trying to make up for that mistake, but he heads it over and we stay behind. Half time here. Really exciting first half for the neutral. Probably disappointing for us to go in behind. We have had the better XG, created more chances. Uh, 50-50 possession Peterborough going ahead after turning around in that 5 minute spell going to tell them that was a poor first half going to try and get our players to get back out there get back on top in this game we'll take a point now but we were so much on top we should be ahead going here for Peterborough and Reid to try and work in something now into the box Reid is in a bit of space he's going to get a shot away no he plays it the opposite side to Tomlinson it's oh yes Glennon gets down I was about to say it's 3-1 I thought that was in but yes Glennon got down made the save and now we need to get rid of this ball out of our box. Flynn is going to take the corner kick. Peterborough have really turned this game around. It comes into the box. Mackley gets up, heads it. Fouls to Howell at the edge of the box. Oh, now it is 3-1. Oh, it's going to be a derby day defeat, I think, unless we really turn this game around. Oh, that's a nine. We were really on top. We probably should have got ahead 2-0 in that first half. We didn't do it. Peterborough have turned around. Here we headed the corner clear through Mackley. It falls to the edge of the box. Probably again, like the first goal, slow to push out. It was, Tom, it was uh, Thompson who made the tackle but got nowhere near it. And they go 3 1 up. Weatherstone has come off for uh, Do. Plays it back to Mackley. And he brings it to Davison. Onto Weatherstone. He plays it through to Thompson. Thompson into Britchen. Britchen out to Lark Etche. And now can we create something here? Goal now. And we'd have a real chance of getting something back in. It comes to the box. It's cleared by Peterborough. They'll come on the attack. And is this going to be a killer counter attack? It looks like it. Howell. Did he stay on side there? He looked like he went a little bit early. Howell takes the shot. It's tipped over by Yeskline and the flag stays down. It'll be a corner to Peterborough and that counter-attack was a dangerous one. And now Tomlinson will take the corner kick. He whips it in towards the far post. Davison get, doesn't get up and when the head of the ball just falls behind him. And then he boots a clear good from the right back eventually. Gets it up to the halfway line where Peterborough will have possession. And we stay 3-1 down. But here come Peterborough again on the attack. We try and just get back into this game. Since they got to 1-1, they've been the better team, I have to say. Now they're into the box with Howell. Is he going to cross it? He isn't. No, Thomason. They've worked it. It's deflected by Davison. Out for a corner. And we really are on the pressure back there now. Oh, it's disappointing. Derby Day teams after being on top, starting so strongly. Here's Thomason with the cross into the box. Yes, Galina half comes, claims it. It's a penalty. Oh, McConnell brought down his man. 
and it's a penalty and a chance for Peterborough to go 4-1 up and all of a sudden this is going to turn into a hammering that the fans may not be happy about. Thomason takes it, fires at home, we're 4-1 down with 25 minutes to go. Our first defeat of the season is going to come to our big rivals and it's a bit of a disaster to be honest. And this could really affect us, hopefully it won't. Thomason with the penalty, Go, sends the escalade in the wrong way, slots at home. 25 minutes to go, we're 4-1 down. Ball played forward, but it's intercepted, so Peterborough have it again, as we have 13 minutes remaining. If it stays at 4-1, we might just save face a bit with that good start, but yeah, it's a bit embarrassing to lose your derby this badly. Here comes Thomason down this side again, into Alton for them. They try and work it Howell back into midfield. We're pushing them back a little, but... We need to try and get this ball back with lots of space out here. And now he'll take on Lark Etche down this side. Into the box with Reed. Is this five? It is. Oh no. What a disaster. Oh, Peterborough fans are going to be in dreamland. I don't know how seriously Peterborough take this derby, but oh, they are hammering us in it. And from that positive start, Simon Thompson had a goal disallowed for 2 0, remember. From there, we're 5 1 down. We work it into the box. Yes, Glenn went down a little bit early, but probably had to. That's a good finish. 5-1 down. Peterborough have it back. They'll clear their lines. They'll end that spell of pressure. They play a long ball forward. Mackley will cut that out, but it'll fall to Thomason. And Thomason on possession here. He goes on the attack. Alton brings it forward. Plays it through to Howell. A six goal here would be a disaster altogether. Reed plays it through. Mackley cuts it out, thankfully. He boots it clear, but he gives it back to Peterborough. He's not had a great day, Mackley. Uh, player we brought in to try and improve our back line not one of his best days maybe the derby day got to him I don't know have to see how his form goes in the game against Wigan but here's the ball over the top yes Galine oh no no yes Galine came out got nowhere near it it's a 6-1 derby defeat oh this is huge oh the fans will not be happy they wanted to be competitive against Peterborough maybe we were for 20 minutes but they've hammered us in this game since then Poor goalkeeper from Yeskalain in there. He's been so good in the couple of seasons we've had him. Highlight from the kickoff, please don't be a seventh goal. We've given the ball back to them. This is an absolute disaster for us. Hopefully this doesn't completely derail our season because we had such a good start. We have a game in the EFL trophy coming up midweek and then the game against Wigan. We really need to bounce back quickly. Ball into the box, shot is taken. Don't need a seventh goal to go in. We're into five minutes off injury time. Hopefully this goes down really quick and we can get out of here. Oh, what a tweet. We'd only conceded one goal before this game as well in the league. It's been an absolute disaster. As the ball comes in, McConnell heads it. It'll be cleared. The final whistle is going to go any moment now. There it is. And it's a huge defeat on our first derby. A 6-1 defeat after being in ahead after four minutes in control for 20 minutes of this game. We collapsed altogether. Hat-trick for, or two goals for Howell, sorry. Peterborough go top of the table on 13 points. We fall down to 10 we play that EFL Trophy game off camera and then we'll come back for the Wigan game. So here we are seven days later to take on Wigan at home and a couple of bits of news to catch up on. We played one game in midweek, the EFL Trophy. We took on Cardiff under 21s, dominated the game, only got one goal. John Weatherstone with the goal on 53 minutes. So our first win in that competition and up and running in it. Uh, so Weatherstone actually comes into the starting lineup instead of a do after his good start of the season. He has three goals already. So we brought him into the starting eleven. The other bit of news to catch up on is that Simon Thompson's release clause has expired. He no longer has a minimum release clause, so no one made the bid. He's here to stay, and it's our choice now whether to sell him or not, which is brilliant. Uh, we're going with the other 10 players are going to be the same as that Peterborough game, and we need to bounce back with a big win. Fourth highlight here, a corner kick for us, Britain to take it five minutes into it. Can we get an early goal? In it comes towards that near post. Oh, it's headed clear. It'll fall to Russell Denny, though. Can we get back into the box? He picks out Armstrong. Armstrong heaps hasn't got much support and he loses possession now Wigan are going to counter attack here and we need to get men back and we do a good job we force them to go back to the goalkeeper initially now can we press on and win the ball back high up the pitch is what we want to do with this tactic but we haven't been doing it in the last couple of games too well here's Britton though in possession and now can he bring it forward Davison down this side picks out Weatherstone into the team ahead of Adu after his bright start to his Cardiff career but Wigan have won it back again and now can they counter this time Going to come a bit quicker down this side, are they? Thomas for them. Has a lot of space. We try and get men back. Thomas down this side. We don't stop the cross coming in. Oh, heads it over. Very lucky there not to be 1-0 down here. Larkettje to take it down to Britchen. Back to Larkettje. Well worked initially here. Now can we get a ball into the box? Russell Denny. Yes, oh yes. 1-0 up. Russell Denny. Oh, that's a relief after that Peterborough performance. We needed to bounce back quickly and we've done it. 
in this game. A bit of an Irish dance there from Russell Denny in front of the fans. It was well worked from the throw in here. Britchin, Dark Etchie makes the run then. He gets a bit of space. His cross into the box picks out Russell Denny, who's finished first time. Gets a slight deflection, goes in, and we go 1 0 up. Wigan with a throw in on the halfway line. Down to Thomas for them. They try to come on the attack, played into midfield. Russell Denny intercepts it now. McConnell. McConnell does well to beat a man. Needs support. He beats another man though. Glenn McConnell. What a run this is. Glenn McConnell. Now can he pick out someone? Goes back to Larkeche. Back to McConnell. He's won a penalty. Oh, brilliant work from Glenn McConnell. What a run that was. And then he's won the penalty. And now a chance for us to go 2 0 up. It will be Britain to take it. And he's saved. Oh, no. This not again. Are we going to be on top early on and fail to get a second goal? Missed penalty from Britain. Larkeche will whip in the corner kick and it's headed clear. Larkeche can he get there? He can, but he kicks it out for a goal kick. Oh, he's won a corner actually. Got a touch from a Wigan player. I thought he just booted it out. <laughs> but no, goal kick is not given, so it's a corner kick. And Larkeche takes it in again. Up goes the players, no one wins it. And it's headed clear by Wigan. Russell Denny, he has possession back to Heaps. We try and create something here. We go back to Davison and it'll stay 1 0. Davison quickly on to Weatherson. Who would try and create something? Weatherstone, Davison, Russell Denny. That's a lovely quick passing there to open up Wigan a little. Russell Denny, here's McConnell. Won that penalty sadly. This man missed the Britain. Now McConnell into the box. Glenn McConnell. Ah, he's finished it himself this time. Glenn McConnell playing a real captain's role there. And we do get the second goal. We do go 2 0 up this time when on top. We didn't do it against Peterborough. We've done it this time. Ah, that was a brilliant finish. It was a lovely work here initially to pick out Russell Denny free there. Then McConnell back to Britain. He plays the ball quickly to McConnell. Again, beats a man. This time, a lovely finish past the keeper. 20 minutes gone. We're 2 0 up. Holmes with a throw in for Wigan. 10 minutes off the first half remaining. They head it on, but we win it with Britchin. And he plays it into Russell Denny in space. Russell Denny on the edge of the box. Takes the shot. Curves it in. Oh, what a goal, Russell Denny. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant goal from the midfield maestro. And we go 3 0 up. Two for Russell Denny in this game. And that is a beautiful goal. We win it in midfield here. Britchin picks out Russell Denny with a pass. He's on the edge of the box. He decides to take the shot. And what a shot it is. Bends it right in off the post. We're 3-0 up. In possession with 30 seconds of injury time to remain in this first half. Long ball played forward. Mackley doesn't win it. And Armstrong covers him nicely. But we can have it back. And now they'll come on the attack. Don't want to concede right before half time. And give them some hope in the second half. But the cross comes in. And we have conceded. It's Paul Lee for them. Far too easy once the cross came in. Not brilliant from Davison at right back to prevent the cross. The two centre backs not in great positions either. He beats uh, Russell Denny here. Then Davison doesn't push out, doesn't stop the cross. The two centre backs let their man go. Yes, for Lina, no chance. So right on half time, it's 3 1. There's the half time whistle. So a good first half overall. Just a bit of a disappointing note at the end. It's even in terms of shots, but we have been the better team uh, overall. Just need to keep it up in the second half. And uh, make sure we get the three points. He'll come down this side and try and do something. But Lark Etcher, good defending, wins the ball back. Armstrong into McConnell. McConnell has options. Picks out Britchin. Britchin into Russell Denny. Russell Denny onto Weatherston, who hasn't uh, even quite enough in this half with his first start uh, in the league. But here he is now, Weatherston. Can he create something? He can. Thompson. Oh, is that another penalty? It is. Yes, another penalty. Thompson winning it this time. And it will be Britain, I think, to take it again. No, Lark Etche is going to take it this time. He scored a few penalties last season. A chance to put us 4-1 up. And he's done it. Yes, 4-1. Huge. Just to kill off that Wigan comeback that they had started at the end of that first half. And we go 4-1 up. And this is the response we needed to that derby defeat. Lark Etche from the penalty spot. Fires at home. Five minutes off the second half. Gone. We're 4-1 up. Lark Etche with a throw in. Down to McConnell. McConnell in possession. Can he create something? He goes back to Langford, who's come on for Armstrong. Mackley with a ball over the top towards Adu, who's also come on for Weatherstone. But Wigan have possession back. They come down this side. But we win it back through Mackley. Good defending from the centre-back. Heaps plays it quickly forward towards McConnell, who can't retain possession. So here come Wigan again with 20 minutes to go. If they got a goal back, could they make a comeback? It hasn't looked likely in this second half, but we would be getting nervous. There's the shot, and yes, Glynan has to push it over the bar. We can create something more, more or less out of nothing there. So they still have that threat and they still have the ball here with this corner kick. Here it comes into the box. Yes, Glenn comes for it. Punches it clear. Good goalkeeping. Can I do get there? He can. Good from the striker. And that will relieve the pressure on us. Goal kick for Wigan. They go along with it. 
we'll win this in the air with Thompson down to Adu Adu looking for options back to Prout into Davison Davison to Adu Adu brings it forward what can he create here Adu Adu off the bench wanting to impress it's Jim Prout the youngster who's on loan came on for heaps to make his first league appearance gets beats his man what a run oh he's into the box wasn't taken down Saleh yes the left back has his first Cambridge goal Yusuf Saleh and we go 5-1 up and what a response this has been. We lost 6-1 against our big rivals. We bounced back a week later for a 5-1 win, it looks like. Brilliant work from Prout. He lost the ball then. Davison was clever enough to pick out Saleh. Composed himself with that curling shot into the side net. We're 5-1 up. Throw in here in injury time. Can we get a 6 goal in this game? Davison plays it into midfield. It's a do in a lot of space here. Can he create something? Russell Denny. Oh, he's fired it over. Might have just clipped the crossbar. He really wanted that hat-trick goal. He's had a brilliant performance. Five minutes of injury time as we wait to uh, see that go down. And we're nearly at the end now. It's going to be a great response and a bounce back. And that defeat hasn't affected us too much, thankfully. It'll be two wins in a row with the midweek win in the EFL Trophy. And we will stay comfortably around mid-table in the league. We might even be just outside the playoff spots. But what a win that is. 5-1 against Wigan. We have bounced back. Well, that win was a huge boost for us. We're back up into the playoff spots. We're in fifth position on 11 points. Peterborough are at the top of the table. So maybe that defeat isn't as bad as it looks. It's just that it was against a rival. And it was such a hammering to take after being so good in the start. But that game is done and dusted. We've bounced back with a win over Wigan. We're in the playoff spots. And it's been a good start to the season. Six games played, three wins, two draws. Just that one defeat. And in the next episode, we're going to come back for two games against two big clubs in this uh, division. We're going to play it forward until November and we're going to take on Sheffield Wednesday away from home who are currently down in 20th position and then we're going to take another away game against QPR who are 24th so two teams struggling at the moment early on. I expect them to bounce back though and be towards those playoff spots by then so it's going to be a real battle. Two tough away games in the next episode. If you enjoyed today's episode please drop a like on the video. Oh it's good to see more likes and that people are enjoying them. Don't forget to leave any feedback you have in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel to grow and helps you to catch every video that's posted on this channel. Videos are posted Monday to Friday, 6 p.m. Irish time, and subscribing will make sure you get the notification. There is also a playlist on the channel if you want to catch up on anything that's happened so far. And until the next episode, please take it easy.